Hey everyone, welcome to another uh, <laughs> episode episode of That's All Funny, uh, where we just whatever talk about whatever, do whatever uh, every day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's that? What song? Man? I'm trying to think. We can all do whatever we want, whatever we want. We can all do whatever we want to. Yeah. Nah, um, that's not how the end goes, but I'm just here chilling, uh, tried to set, you, you do that when, I don't know if you do that when you set your alarm, like I set my alarm real early, I think I set it at 8 a.m., just to, cause I went to sleep at maybe 1, 1 a.m., and I'm like, oh, you know, I get up at 8 a.m., that's 7 hours of sleep, what the fuck, you know, that's way more than what I used to get working fucking two jobs and uh i uh said it and i and i just kept ringing and ringing i'd snooze it kept ringing i snooze it and did that for like two hours you know of just snoozing it ringing snoozing ringing snoozing and that shit snoozes or rings like what what is it every like 10 minutes or seven minutes so it's a lot of like snoozing so it's like why even do that when you uh I don't know, you like when you could just be sleeping those hours, but you're not really sleeping them because you keep uh, hitting the snooze, you know. But whatever, I'm a dumbass. I always do that shit. Uh, <laughs> it's just something I always do. I'm sure a lot of people do it though. Anyways, uh, let's, let's look at the news here. Uh, first off, I want to start with this story. Uh, Omegle video chat app to shut down after 14 years. And uh, let's see here. Founder, apparently, stuff like that. I don't know why it looks like. And it looks like well, the well, you know, I've never I know of Omegle, but I've never used it. Uh, but it looks like you know, if you've never heard of the app, it it connects strangers from all around the world, uh, to other strangers. So, like, on paper, it sounds very wholesome. (laughs) You know, it's like, okay, we just want to connect someone who doesn't know someone to someone else. And they talk, you know, if you want someone to talk to. Very, like I said, uh, it's wholesome when you, you think of it at the base of what they want to do. Now, if you, uh, dig deeper, you could (laughs) understand that. There's very, uh, people can use this for very terrible reasons, uh, yeah, and can be used for a whole, you know, nefariously, you know, and, uh, let's see, let's see what his quote is here, uh, K. Brooks said the reason, and I guess the, the, maker of the app the reason behind the shutdown was due to people being faster to attack the app's purpose was to connect strangers and and has also partnered with law enforcement in recent years it seems like the whole world has become more ornery maybe that's something to do with the pandemic or with political disagreements whatever the reason people have become faster to attack and slower to recognize each other's shared humanity one aspect of this has been a constant barrage of attacks on communication services Omigo included based on the behavior of malicious subset of users. Uh, so yeah, I feel like there are a certain user base on there that wanted to use it nefariously. And, you know, he wanted people to have genuine human connections. But I get it. I, I, I get where he's coming from. I get how I'm surprised it lasted this long. You know what I mean? Uh, 14 years shit like I'm surprised it but it, it is um like something to commend that you know I, I'm sure it had at the beginning from what 2009 uh very good intentions it just the people just screwed it up you know so I get it very much so um next bit of news Missy Elliott just made history uh being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's the first female hip hop artist. And yeah, I don't think she's the first black artist. I think um 
I don't know who's been. A, I'd have to look it up, but it's probably like Diana Ross or Madonna Summers, like so, or or maybe even um fucking what's her name that sings uh, Respect. Man, I, I, I can't. Jamie, look it up. No, I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, it's very strange that um she is uh being. I don't know. It's weird to choose her. Not that I don't, I'm not against it. I, I like Missy Elliott. I, I really do. I think she's very good at her music, her producing. Very odd pick, though. It's a very odd pick. Like, I, I think she <laughs> it is so, like, out of the, you know, corner pocket <clears throat> of a pick. And um, it's, it's just, well, why did you pick her? Did she pay her dues like you know financially uh you know it, it's just a weird pick i'm not against it but at the same time i just wonder like more so why they picked her um but if you look at miss Elliot now like back when when she was at her at the height of her career right like with um fucking um minute man and uh get your freak on she was a chunky little looking dude. Like she looked like a dude, dude. You know, like she looked like a dude, dude. Uh, no, nah, she, she was a chunky little, uh, you know, female with like kind of dikey looking hair, and I thought she was like lesbian. And then now, you know, like a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of random actors and and artists, uh, they look better than they've ever looked before. You know, she looks like. She looks pretty hot, and she's, like, I don't know. I'm sure she's still making music, you know? Uh, and I know she was at the Super Bowl halftime show with, man, I can't even remember who she performed with. Uh, you know, I'm, I I need to do more. <laughs> I need to do more research. She was recently at a fucking uh, <laughs> at a Super Bowl halftime show, but she looked good. She looked very good. Um so yeah, I, I guess good for her. I, I don't know. It's just an odd again. It's just an odd pick. I would want to know more about why she was picked, but you know, it, there's there's reasons for everything. There's always like uh, fucking reasons behind other reasons for why it did that, and, and you know, I'm sure they're not going to say anything. And she's happy. I'm sure. Like I know Dolly Parton just got uh put in there which i get that she's a fucking country artist and country has the most roots in rock and roll you know i don't know about rap though but whatever uh let's go to the next headline <clears throat> uh moment lawyer shoots dead two environmental environmental protesters blocking the road and i know this has been all over like the twitter as like a meme and stuff uh <laughs> where this old man dude who looked like uh Santa Claus uh just came up to some protesters that were blocking the road cuz you know those um climate protesters just been sitting in the roads or standing in the roads blocking drivers which I don't know why the fuck they're doing that it's just so like I don't think it makes any sense and I hate the cops can't do anything you know I don't or they choose not to whatever um but yeah, this dude looking all unhinged had enough, and here's a uh, here's some news here, or here's like uh from the article, he allegedly asked demonstrators to speak to the leaders of the protest, but was told none were present. Uh, he then reportedly said, "I don't want to talk to women. I want to speak to the men." <laughs> the <laughs> and apparently it was a lawyer. This dude was a lawyer. The old man. The 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 lawyer then dragged away a tire that the protesters had been using as a roadblock, getting into a shouting match with three of the male demonstrators who approached him. One of the men asked him, uh, I guess because that he already had his gun out. Uh, one of the men asked him, "Why don't you shoot?" And then he opened fire on the group of demonstrators. The first victim could be seen falling to the ground. And yeah, he killed two dudes. Uh, <laughs> after killing the two men, he he sauntered back to his car, 
where a passenger allegedly asked him, do you know what you just did? And he replied, yes, I killed one and shot another. Let's go. <laughs> like, I just know it's like I on one hand, you know, it's terrible, you know, uh, two two people dying like that. But on the other hand, on the other hand, you can't deny this guy's like badassery and he's just like a he, he you could tell he's a lot uh like a demonstration of a lot of these uh people with the protesters like he's just had enough it's like dude like please like get off the road you know and then the, the for them to be like why don't you shoot me and he's just like okay and he just shoots him you know and then he's like let's go um but whatever that's that's life I don't know uh, what's going to happen to him. I'm sure it's going to be a long, leafy trial uh, where people will, are could see his side. People could see the other side. But, uh, yeah, I get it. And I can't wait till there's a movie made out of it with Russell Crowe uh, just being this unhinged fucking dude who's just tired of protesters. <laughs> Early Liam Neeson. I could see it with Liam Neeson. Uh, lastly, I know we're running. Uh, no, we're good. Lastly... Grand Theft Auto 6, the trailer is supposed to come out pretty soon, like within the next day or two or something. And apparently the there's there's leaks that the budget could be well over $2 billion for Grand Theft Auto 6. And it's in, been in you know production since 2014. This budget, of course, includes development, marketing, and other costs. Uh, the game is rumored to have options for choosing a central character, including a female protagonist. Of course it does, which I'm fine with that. That's, it's very, um, you know, that's just what games do. It's not, I don't think it's like a woke type of thing where you could pick a female character. It's just, you know, that's just what games do. Mass Effect does that shit all the time. Other games do that shit all the time where you can pick a female character or even the, the last one. Where you had the three characters you could cycle through. Uh, and they, they all happen to be men. But you could easily have had a female character in there. Right? Easily. But. Uh, some people are. are um, <clears throat> like. Uh, what is it? What's the word? Um, r- rumoring that it may cost. The base game of Grand Theft Auto 6 could debut at $150 just for the game. And right now your basic uh video game is like 60 bucks. Maybe well, 60 or 70 depending on like I I know they're going up to 70 with the uh newer high definition consoles uh but the base game uh is typically 60 bucks right now like your Nintendo or your uh old, you know your your older xbox or your older uh pc or whatever and and old i don't mean like fucking you know ancient i just mean like the high definition consoles right now with the ps5 and the xbox series x um but yeah they're typically 60 bucks and that's you know nowadays you you say base game because there's always fucking uh downloadable content uh, announced now right at the beginning which could have been on the base game but they're gonna hold off till the next game i know mortal kombat uh the one that just came out mortal kombat one i bought the uh fucking the version that comes with all the content like you know uh pre-ordered you know where essentially you're buying it and all the content that's gonna come out eventually you're gonna get with it you know so you're buying the content in advance even before really knowing about it the quote-unquote combat pack which is like more fighters more skins blah blah blah. and that was like okay again the base game 60 bucks that mortal Kombat cost me like 110 dollars i think or 120 dollars so i spent 100 100 whatever dollars on a game uh knowing that Okay, here's the game, the reg- the base game of the fighting game, uh, and then you're gonna have access to all the fighters that are DLC that'll come out eventually. You know what I mean? It could take 
a uh, good year or two for all the fighters to come out. So yeah, like I I get it. Um, that's the new marketing technique that's been going on since what? Uh, fucking Skyrim put out that horse armor for DLC, you know, for uh, two fi- two dollars and fifty cents. But I I could see more uh or Grand Theft Auto costing uh what was it one hundred fifty bucks. Uh, I don't think just the base game. It's gonna be like sixty. And then they're going to rope you into buying all the DLC, all the online components, all the online access, this and that, uh, to get their money back, of course. And it's going to sell like crazy. It's going to sell forever because they're still selling Grand Theft Auto Five, and that one's been out for a while. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, it's just trying to make money. That's I get it. And, and they make Rockstar makes good quality games. So, uh, not that I've played any of them, because I'm just not really into really Grand sure Theft Auto, <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. It's interesting that they're spending yeah, there, you know, uh, that much. Like, that, that's a lot. That's more than movie budgets, you know. Uh, but yeah, the, we'll end there. I want to thank you for listening today <laughs> to the podcast. That's all funny. You can find it anywhere podcasts are available. Uh, you can find me on youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola if you want to uh, listen on there or see video versions of interviews and um, if you want to help support the podcast uh, more you can hear ad free episodes and early episodes and some bonus episodes on the Patreon patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola uh, for that the, that's all funny five dollars gets you everything uh this is just the one here. My dollars get you access to everything. Uh, and if you want to check out some uh, merch, merchandise, check out retrohorings.com. Uh, when we have some merchandise, you can just message me on Instagram or Twitter at Lorenzo Ariola. Message on the website, email. Uh, or if you just want to commission some great art, great artists, check out that website too or at Retro Horror Week on Instagram. I want to thank you for listening. Take care and have a great uh, end of your week. Bye. <laughs>